Hello everyone, today we will learn about dimension styles. We will create our own dimension style and learn about all the basic settings of dimension styles. We will create two different dimension styles, one for bigger drawings like this one and one for smaller details like this one. So let's start. Dim dimension styles is activated by pressing D enter from your keyboard. This dimension styles manager appears. Over here you're gonna go to the new button. Give it a name of the new dimension. I'm going to give it dimension one. Click continue. These are the basic settings of all the dimensions. We're not going to change all the settings, but I'm going to tell you about all the important ones. First of all, you have to change all these by, by block to by layer. This color by layer, line type by layer, line weight by layer. Over here, the color to by layer and all these boxes to by layer like this next we're going to go to symbols and arrows you can choose any one of the arrow or symbol that you want i'm going to keep it to the default one you can choose any from these whichever you like this is for the arrow size we're going to draw a dimension and check the arrow size that is it enough for us or do we need to change it rest we're going to keep it the same next we are going to go to text over here you can cho choose from the text styles that you, you are going to make. I have made all these styles. Or you can create your own style by clicking over here and create your own text style. You can give it font from here. You can give it size, its height. All the settings are here. And after you're done, go to set current and apply. I'm not going to change the style. I'm going to keep it default right now. Next, again, change this by block to by layer. Text height, we're going to see what we i'm not changing the text height right now uh, we are going to make a dimension and see that how big or small the text is then according to that we're going to adjust our text size this is for drawing drawing a frame around the text i don't like this frame so we're gonna uncheck it this is for the text placement vertical i like to keep it above like this so that it does not come in between the line like this or rather i it should be above it it, it gives more professional look in this way. Horizontal should be centered. View direction left to right. Offset from dim line. We're going to see the size and then going to adjust it. This align with dimension line. I prefer this one. So it gets aligned with the lines. Next we will go to fit. Click on always keep text between ex extension lines. Click on over dimension line with leader. Go to primary units. Set your desired units. I'm going to set it to architectural. Precision. I think one by two precision is enough. Fraction format. You can change it in any way, anyone you like. Uh, this, if I increase it, then you will see that it is changing like this. But right now I'll just keep it to one by four and horizontal. The rest looks good. There's nothing to change in alternate units or tolerance. Click on OK and you see this new dimension style dim one is created. I'm, to I'm going to click on it and set click on set current. I'm going to close it. Now let's try our dimension. Let's make a dimension. OK, so you see the text is too small. And the text arrows are also very small. So let's change that. Type D enter. Select your dimension style go to modify go to text change the text height I think 7 inch should be enough for this drawing next go to symbols and arrows go to arrow size I think 5 inch should be enough click on ok close it and you see the arrow size and text size has increased now if you notice there is not much space between this text and the dimension line and that looks a bit odd so I want to increase this diamond this spacing I'm going to go to type D enter modify go to text offset from dim line change it to 3 inch click on ok close it and you see that distance has increased okay next up I don't want these large lines of dimensions to continue everywhere rather I want to keep them uniform and I want to set a uniform length for these lines. So I'm going to go to dimension style again. Modify. Symbols and arrows. Lines. Fixed length extensions. Click on this and give a length of 
one foot okay close and you see this that where, wherever I move this line the length extension is uniform and looks it looks and gives a bit professional outlook let's just check out our dimensions a bit more and see everything looks good now I'm making these dimensions to check it out if there's any problem now I don't like that there is no line in between this these dimensions let me see if of this six and the line is diminishing from here so let's see what we can do for for it go to d enter modify go to fit click on draw dimension line between extension lines okay close and this this line has appeared in between this six inch dimension i am now satisfied with these dimension style so let's move on to this detail that i want to make dimensions of now if I try the same dimension style over here, you will see that the text and everything is too big for this drawing. So now I, I have to create another dimension style to solve this problem. So let's just get rid of these. Go to the dimension style again press a by pressing D enter. Now you will go to new. As you can see copy of dim1 is created. All the changes in the dimension style of dim1 that we have made will be copied. Give it another name dim 2 continue start with lines now what we have to do is reduce all the sizes according to our drawing that we are trying trying to give dimensions now we're going to reduce this length to 2 inch symbols and arrows reduce arrow size to I think 2 inch should be enough reduce text size to 3 inch click on ok close now let's try to make a dimension with the new dimension style that we have made. Now you see it, it looks much better now. But still it is a bit larger for my liking. So I will reduce it a bit more. Go to D enter. Go to modify. Go to text. Reduce size to 1 inch. Go to symbols and arrows. Reduce size to 1 inch. Ok. Close. And sizes has been reduced even more. Now it looks according to the drawing that we are trying to work on and looks good enough if we zoom in. So this is how we create dimension styles and edit those styles according to our drawing needs. If you like the video do like it and do subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thank you. Goodbye.